Okay, welcome back to the video. My name is Chris and I build productivity apps. I usually focus on one productivity app for video. Today, we're gonna be focusing on Luna. If you're new here, Luna is a budgeting app that I created and there's two main reasons I created it. One is I genuinely need a budgeting app. I've been spending way too much money eating out, so that's number one. Number two is I wanna get better as a designer and so this is a playground for me to practice things like interaction design, motion, animation, all that stuff. All the videos related to this budgeting app are gonna have this icon in the thumbnail. So if you're interested, go check out those videos. Also, if you didn't know, the app's named after my dog. Okay, so today I wanted to make a video actually going over the tech stack that I'm using. This is actually one of the most common questions I get is what's the tech stack of the app and how did you choose it? So that's what this video is gonna be about today. So the tech stack's super simple and this is an iOS only app for now and it's gonna be Swift for the front end and Superbase for the back end. So why did I choose Swift for the front end? This was a really hard choice. So I looked at a ton of different options like Flutter, React Native, Swift. When I thought about the goals for the app, I realized that Swift was the right choice because again, the goals are I need an app to curb my spending and I want to learn a ton of things, especially on the design front. This is a really personal goal, but if I need an app to curb spending, there are really only two requirements. I needed it quickly and it needs to work on the iPhone. I've already built a couple apps with Swift. I move pretty quickly with it. I know I can get an app in my hands way faster with Swift than I can with Flutter and React Native. And if I can get the app in my hand faster, I can solve my first problem faster. I can start using it. I can start budgeting. In terms of speed, I knew that Swift was the right choice. When I realized that I was going to be personally just using this on the iPhone, it made the choice a lot easier because then the cross-platform benefits of React Native and Flutter didn't really matter as much to me. The second reason, which is more important, has to do with the second goal, which is for me to learn a lot, become better as a designer. I did a ton of research on things like animation and interactions, and it looked like Swift was a bit easier to work with compared to the other stuff like React Native and Flutter. And I'm talking about things like complex drag and drop or very custom page switching animations. It's definitely possible with React Native and Flutter, but Swift made it look really easy to pull off. And as someone who's just a beginner and trying to learn these things, easier is probably better. Okay, so why did I choose Superbase, especially over Firebase? For context also, I've used Firebase base for borderline every other app that I built. I can move really quickly with it. I'm super comfortable with it. Why would I choose to move to something else? And it really has to do with the second goal of the app, which is to learn as much as possible. If I go with something like Firebase, which I feel like I've really pushed it to its limits for my apps, I feel like I really wouldn't learn as much. Compared to if I pick something new like Superbase. Even though the speed is gonna be sacrificed here, I feel like the pro of learning a ton of new things is gonna outweigh that con. And here's an example of what I mean by learnings, by the way. So one of the biggest differences between Firebase and Superbase is that Superbase is a SQL database. I don't really have much experience working with SQL databases, but I know they're really powerful and have a lot of benefits over a NoSQL database like Firebase. So this will be a good experience for me to learn how to work with that type of database and see the benefits firsthand. So yeah, that's one example of what I mean by learning. So let me go over some common questions I'm probably gonna get. Why did I choose to use Superbase instead of you know using Postgres directly or something? The answer is really to save energy. But I'm a really big fan of these managed services like Superbase and Firebase because I don't have to worry about a lot of stuff. You know, and I can use that energy on something like 10% more effort on the front end or something. I just want to save energy wherever I can. So the managed services are great for that. I do plan on having like a really simple REST API so I can just hit the back end, get data. So I know a question is going to come up is why don't I use something like GraphQL or Drizzle or some sort of ORM? I don't really want to overcomplicate things and overextend myself. So I've tried a few stuff like GraphQL in the past and it is great, but it does actually add some complexity to the project. And I already have a ton on my plate, like learning Superbase and complex animation stuff. Learning how to use something like GraphQL or Drizzle is just something I don't want to focus on right now. That could change in the future though, maybe you know in a couple months I do want to learn this stuff and see what the benefits are and I will switch to them. For now, it's not really a priority, so I'm just gonna do a simple REST API. Okay, last question is, uh, what about web and Android? I'm picking something like Swift, which obviously can't be used with the web and Android, so am I just not gonna work on those things? My answer is, I definitely want to build a web and probably an Android app in the future, but for the goals of the app, those two really aren't a priority. I'm gonna offload a lot of things to the back end and have a really good API, so that way when I do choose to launch those apps, my life is a lot easier. Most likely gonna use React for the web, by the way. If I do an Android app, I'll probably use Flutter or React Native, but, but I'll save that choice for down the road and we'll see where my goals are at that time. Again, a lot of this stuff could change. For my other app, Ellie, I actually tried to use Superbase in the beginning, but at the time, which was around two years ago, it was just so buggy. I actually just had to switch back to Firebase. And so who knows, maybe I'll run into something where I decide, you know, maybe I will switch back to Firebase or something like that. But you guys will find out in a future video if that happens. Yeah, that's basically it. The video is probably gonna be super short, to be honest. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. I try my best to respond to every single comment. I'm happy to answer literally anything. If you guys like this video, check out my Instagram and TikTok. I post every other day about building productivity apps. And obviously subscribe to this channel if you like this series. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.